Okay, back for another installment of the various types of anomalies on Earth's surface. Today we will be getting into patchy land. This phenomenon, and our first example is in Lesotho, in uh, southern Africa. And patchy land uh, can be comprised of any number of techniques or materials, like it can be made of rock or it can be dirt moved around or whatever. Uh, I'm just calling it patchy when it looks kind of patchy from above, uh, but obviously it can encompass multiple different types of uh, earth shifting patterns. Can't think of the word I'm looking for, but you know what I mean. Anyways, so we have these uh, some sometimes straight, sometimes curvy, wavy uh, patterns of patchiness and obviously people around doing their thing. So this could be former farms, former terracing, former, I don't know, strip mining or I mean something, but it's uh, a little weird to my eye. So let's go to Google Earth and uh, check out the area. So here's Lesotho, little country in the middle of South Africa. And turn my place marks back on, and we're going to go right here. And it's really the whole country that's affected. So this is the image we were just looking at. We have, obviously, we have people, pretty decent sized civilization here. So it could just be former the former footprint of human activity over millennia, really. Uh, but right off, let's, let's start right off with a, a look at previous photos. So 2004, what did it look like? Uh, <laughs> just blocked out, what the heck? That's unfortunate. Um, pretty similar in 2010. Same deal. Hasn't really changed. And the reason I I just I don't see that these plots are really in use. I could be wrong, but they just don't look like they're growing anything. Maybe they are. I mean, I don't know. But this is potentially the aftermath of some ter some kind of terraforming project. Or again, perhaps an ongoing terraforming project. Which is why we see subtle changes, not to mention modern uh, additions and... Uh, contributions, but, uh, I don't really have a whole lot to comment on this. I'm just kind of giving you a look at it just so you get a feel for what I'm looking at what we're dealing with. So again, it is these vast areas. Uh, vast. Like thousands and tens of thousands of square miles. You see all this, right? Just... I, I would say scraped up is how I tend to think about it. Like it looks scraped over or I don't know, like, how, how was this accomplished? I don't know, like, from some type of on-the-ground device or something above, or, or just slowly but surely, one at a time, uh, by hand, over the centuries, uh, just by people. This, this could all be conventional activity. Um, this certainly looks kind of strange here. These, uh... These lines, like these ridges, 
matching up with these parallel ridges. Like the, these parallel lines are obviously artificial, right? Um, but then we have here, it looks kind of natural, but it follows the artificial line. Um, could be a, a number of decent explanations for that, but Yeah, so just the idea is this whole, I mean, like all, all of this really, like just vast areas. Let's go to the other end of the country and we'll see something that's similar to what we see in Madagascar in the old grid episode. This one, we do see people nearby. Um, again, this pattern is pretty ubiquitous kind of patchy looking from above. Doesn't seem like the most efficient way to build terracing, in my opinion. But then, what do I know? I don't really know about farming or soil or anything, but it looks strange to me. And the, the scale is the most suspicious aspect again. And of course, if you spend decades and this is like your career, your life is like doing, tending to these plots, yeah, you might make quite a ruckus on the landscape. Um, possible, well, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it just kind of looks like scraped up. Like this doesn't look like a terrace, it's just like faint. Uh, remains of some kind of maneuver, it looks like to me. Like this? Is that a terrace? Doesn't look like it. And the coloring, I don't, I don't know what gives some parts their color and other parts no color. Um, I'm tempted to uh, question the naturalness of the whole mountain range itself. Um, and I guess I do, but I, I, I wouldn't say I have, any, I have any super strong opinions about this particular area. And I didn't spend a whole lot of time here, so I'm not super familiar with all of it. Just like this, all this stuff. These, like, is that terracing? I doubt it. Like, patchy WTF-ness. Odd. Just odd patterns. Alright, we can't spend all day here. Otherwise, this video will be five hours long. And more of the same. And the idea is, really, you can just kind of zoom in anywhere and see the same type of deal. Not anywhere on Earth, but anywhere in this general area, and often, or many, many general areas, many large areas. Um, and let's just go to this patchiness. What do we have over here? Pretty far away. Some kind of patchiness, maybe. Slightly strange, could be nothing. Um, more patchiness, what we got? Could be something, could be nothing. But that gives you a general idea for what's going on over here. Okay, let's go back to our images. Next up we have Ethiopia. So patchy plots. I'm referring to these darker colored areas. There's, you got gray and kind of black and green and dark red and 
bluish patches like like this little thing here and then all these what I was saying I was calling them like striations they're probably just trails like foot trails or whatever but or I don't know some any kind of trail animal trails maybe but or variations in the natural rock veins veins of material these red lines uh, those those do interest me I'm not quite sure what they are but um, the patchiness is what I want to focus on right now and let's go over there and check it out it's this area over here yeah patchiness so this area is pretty weird looking uh, the red coloration is interesting and then I was I was studying this area when I was uh, looking into the mud fossil stuff pretty heavily so I was thinking this kind of looks like heart tissue and like like lungs or like veins you know just I mean just considering anything really at this point while trying not to buy into anything too much but this is the patchiness uh, do we see people? We see tons of stone circles, that's for sure. Lots of stone circles in this area, and just southern Africa in general. But this is the patchiness. Could be slash and burn farming, or some type of similar thing where you just use the land once or twice and then move on, something like that. Uh, could be deforestation, although you don't see many trees here. Um, it's just like kind of a wasteland of little squares and rectangular plots. Like, uh, these, do you know, maybe I'm wrong, but they don't look like farms of any kind. Got the stone walls. I'm pretty sure that's stone walls here. Um, and more patchiness just very sporadic you know what I mean stone circles stone circles with patchiness this kind of almost looks like rows or, or parallel uh, set of curved lines mm. yeah I don't really have a great guess what this patchiness is other than like I mean a conventional guess conventional explanation the spottiness I was looking at I was, think I was thinking that might just be a vegetation pattern another stone circle here looks like um, Spottiness did catch my eye. Possibly worth noting. Could just be bushes. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like it's just bushes. The regular, the semi regular spacing is pretty weird. Maybe that's just what the species does. Although I'm, I'm still considering that some, some planting of plants was artificial and I'm wondering if I see like a straight line here like here maybe uh, not really but like see just like a blotchy random shape of a uh, probably stone circle or something stacked rocks or maybe it's just vegetation but that's what the stone circles generally look like and so it looks like a lot of stone circles and patchy uh, patchy ground some parallel lines here some so my guess is uh, some kind of 
terraforming project did this with, uh, which has an aspect, a psychological aspect to it. So I think the stone circles have a psychological purpose, um, possibly multi-purpose, like they were used for something and then they also serve some kind of other purpose. But I, th I think, I think random patterns is or su semi semi random patterns is the best way to describe what's going on here um but it could be just like a bet like someone just made has like a pattern button on a high technology remote control <laughs> and then they just like it just bet on like what will they think it is even though it's nothing <laughs> and they just Watch the hilarity ensue as we spend decades uh, studying this stuff, trying to figure it out. Like, and they they created something which doesn't add up, and therefore can't be figured out. Like it's it's just nonsense patterns. Um, that's one that's one theory. It's 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 possible that that's true alongside other things like that's one component of the truth and I, I say like I've mentioned that this whole terraforming project might be by a single author but who knows we could have many authors doing slight variations on each other's you know previous work or they share strategies and tips and tricks with each other and they just do all kinds of weirdness for whatever high-level game they're playing on Earth or with Earth, but you see, you see the the patchiness co um, continuing in this whole large area, and um, so that's pretty much what I just wanted to show here, and I think I've conveyed it well enough. Here we have some lines to. Let's see, this is looking natural here, like a kind of a natural flow of a river, but then it kind of splays out into these less natural looking lines. I, I would say those. See, so I don't think we're dealing with some kind of simple, like, device like a, a truck on wheels or a tractor on wheels, which makes all these patterns as possible, but if, if that is the case, then it's following instructions to make some pretty weird patterns. But I think it's some kind of higher technology which can make... Hmm, just make, make weird flowy patterns, straight patterns, basically whatever kind of pattern it wants and whatever kind of medium like this just splays out and turns into wavy lines and patches so we got some weird stuff going on in Ethiopia all right that's enough for now let's go to um, actually real quick I want to do a historical photos look just to see if any of these areas has change have changed so let's just go to uh, what it's not giving me any previous years. Let's check it out. 1984. Here we go. 1984. You can't really see anything. 1993. Ah. Pretty bad resolution. Nineteen ninety nine. We've just—I don't know whether these are supposed to be clouds or what, but I uh, can't really see what's going on at all. Two thousand four. Looks like still have a lot of patchiness. 2004, we see it. 2010, it's all there. 
I don't I don't think we're seeing any increase or decrease in the number of amount of patchiness. It's looking pretty much the same. And again, these striations, I don't know what these are. These could be paths, like tool paths or uh, meandering vehicles of some kind. This could even be roads, but that's a little too many roads, man. These might be stone walls as well. A lot of possibilities. All right, let's go look at some other areas. So we just looked at that. Now, Lake Titicaca, Peru is pretty much a shit show. Same thing with Bolivia. Uh, Peru and Bol Bolivia kind of blend together, have a lot of similar stuff. And let's go to Lake Titicaca. Here's Lake Titicaca in Peru, near the Bolivia-Peru border. And I'm not saying I believe this is a breast, but it looks like a cross section of a breast. Just saying, and it's called Titicaca. It, it could be the, the sense of humor of these, these people who did this project, that they would just put something that looks like a titty in a lake that they call Titicaca, maybe. I was looking for some, <laughs> some caca, but I don't see anything that looks like, like doo-doo. But anyways, I think the area was right here. I mean, it's really the whole freaking area. So I believe this is like stone, stacked stones. Um, so these, these aren't like viable farm plots. This is just, and you see this line here, like what the heck? Or right here, like what is that for? So, so this, this mountain range, I actually suspect may be artificial, either partly or entirely, just because there's so much ubiquitous patchiness. Or this, this could be any number of things, like, could be like a big, huge clue, like that someone's trying to wake us up uh, and tell us that, like, Earth isn't real or something, I don't know, whatever they would want to tell us, but I'm just trying to get us to take a fresh look at things, so they they give us obvious, obvious clues, and hope that we pick up on it. Uh, but you're seeing the scale of this, like, these just looks like worked over land. Um, Slightly different quality of patchiness than the other patchy examples we've looked at so far in this video, but we'll see this this general type of pattern in lots of places. But Bolivia nearby, also um, Turkey and Jordan and the Middle East in general, and obviously people here. But I, what I'm saying is there's too many little micro plots or micro uh, subdivisions of the land for for these to all be practical um, uh, zonings. So, and I mean, I've I've only looked at a, a tiny little area right here, but it's like this is this is the scale of it we're talking about. I'll zoom out here and show you the scale we're talking about. It's like. The forested areas, not so much, but basically any, anything brown here, <laughs> like this whole, whole area. Um, down, uh, probably down into Argentina as well, maybe Chile. I haven't really looked too much around here. Let's just do one random zoom and see what we see. Mm. Not so much, not really. Uh, maybe. These lines, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. What else? 
Just trying to... Uh, the lines are a little weird, but... I wouldn't qualify that as the p same type of patchy thing. Uh, and again, it's not everywhere, but where you do see it, it's pretty... Uh, Heavy gouging, patchy area. Let's look. I think we're in Bolivia now. Yeah, we're so we're just looking in Lake Titicaca now. We're in Bolivia, a couple hundred miles away, probably. Um, and see, basically the same thing. So. It's weird, if you look at pictures, it's like the the stone and the dirt seem to kind of blend together in some cases, which could just be the, due to the age and weathering of it. Um, patchy, patchy. See, I'm not seeing these as terraces. This is just like all zoned up kind of arbitrarily or seemingly arbitrarily or with, with arbitrariness as the non-arbitrary objective, if that makes sense. More patchiness pretty much everywhere. And I could go on and on, but I think that would be kind of overkill. And try and keep this video under two hours, hopefully. And yeah, when I was studying the mud fossil stuff, and mud fossils, if you're not familiar, is the idea that uh, there's like carcasses of animals that are hundreds of miles long and stuff like that. And that, like mountain ranges are part of animals or former parts of animals so I was considering that these are like scales so I guess I should yeah I should mention that like this could be eh. if it weren't for the fact that we have pictures of stuff like this as stacked rocks I would say yeah maybe this could be scales or something of like a freaking dragon or whatever if you've heard various theories um, Like, it does kind of have, like, a skin-like quality to it. Kind of. Uh, but... That's that. And you can make up your own mind what you think this stuff is. I haven't really made mine up yet. My best guess is some kind of gibberish protocol for any number of purposes, but I see this isn't modern farming stuff. I would highly doubt that. Um, yeah, so this is like that, that lake that I was thinking might be claws. Like, this kind of looks like a, a claw, like a shark tooth. Or, or maybe a claw, like, pro possibly the bottom side of it. Like, a, a bottom view of it, or a side view. And then they just sliced across it and plopped it on the middle of the lake. Kind of looks like that. I don't know if I believe that or place much stead in that. And it's, I think... Based on the other patterns we've seen, I, I think it's uh, it's not beyond these people's capabilities to make something that looks like a giant body part just for the hell of it, like to amuse themselves when it's not a body body part, um, and just everywhere seeing these lines. <clears throat> um, And faint patchy texture. 
Could be natural. But, um, all right. Whole area, patchy. You get the idea. Next up, Bolivia. Let's just look at this example real quick. We, we kind of already looked at Bolivia, but let's look at this one in particular. So we have lots of squares, and we also have these lines, which are not, uh, not entirely roads, or some of them are roads, but not all of this, not all of these lines are roads, or power lines, or conventional things. It's just like faint lines everywhere. So let's go look at this. Here we are, uh, Bolivia. And right above Lake Pupo. So actually, we were just here a second ago. Mm-hmm. That's that. Seeing the scale of it, all the lines. Just going haywire. Got all this parallel lines. All kinds of weirdness. Patches of parallel lines are nearly parallel. So, just something went apeshit making patterns, basically. It's kind of the idea. Or it terraformed in a fairly eccentric way, leaving behind fun little uh, party favors as it went. But yeah, all these squares. Again, vast area. You already saw it, basically. Okay, so that's Bolivia and Jordan. So let's look at a few from Jordan. Basically kind of similar to Peru and Bolivia but slightly different stylization. We have a little more waviness going on with Jordan but still a lot of weird kind of patchy uh, terracing or pseudo terracing. Mm, just large-scale working over of the land. Uh, on a massive, massive scale. Here's a closer view of it, and we see the... Uh, in some views you might think, oh, it's natural, but then you have like this polygon right here, which is fairly uh, obviously artificial, and some, some right angles in places, and like, just... Uh, so I don't think you can make the case that this is a, a natural pattern. Some of it maybe, but uh, I think this uh, this project, the, the global terraforming thing, I think it, for whatever reason, it uses, it likes to use patterns which are like a, an average between artificial and natural, if that makes sense. Like it'll go mostly natural and it'll, like 80% natural, and then it'll put an artificial twinge on it. And I think that may have something to do with like, I don't know, karmic clauses where they have to out themselves for whatever reason. Like, if it is true that Earth is under the control of, I don't know, some corrupt wardens or something, and don't be so quick to judge, because, I mean, if you had control of a planet, you might go bonkers too, but, um, uh, yeah, maybe f to uh, cover their asses, they have to uh, give us a way to discover the the fraud. And one more look at Jordan, slightly different area, but same pattern basically. And we see, yeah, like these angular patchy patterns. And this is more like mounds of dirt, like mounds of material, I think. I don't think this is stacked rocks, but let's um, let's go over and look. So here we are, here's Jordan right here, and uh, here's some of that hillside look. And there's a, a circular aspect to it as well. I'm not sure if these are raised like mounds or if they're uh, indentations, like uh, ditches, or if they're I'm not quite sure what they are, but um, just little nubs, nubs or mounds, looks like. 
but just the patchiness of the area. Kind of like a 80% natural, 20% artificial looking pattern and probably by design, I would say. Um, again, yeah, people are here doing stuff, uh, but I doubt they're doing stuff on the scale that we're seeing. It's like pretty much everywhere. So, faint indications of something, you know. So something gave the Earth a, a makeover. And we don't know why. Slightly different kind of patchiness here. Although, could be leveling the ground for these windmills or whatever. Random pond. I'm 50-50 on these things. These could be have a modern purpose, but a lot of these are pretty strange. These like isolated ponds around the world. See them a lot in Bolivia and Peru as well. But um, crossed machining. Uh, mm, I'm just looking at these lines. They look like natural lines. The grooves in the rock. I was a little more gung-ho on the grooves in the rock at the beginning. And some are still pretty suspicious. Wouldn't surprise me if this... Mm, yeah, I mean, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if the whole mountain range is fake. Or deposited, or... But you don't see the, the patchiness on some of it. But then it resumes again, like this whole area. I think this is basically where the, those still images were. And you see these artificial little nublets. So it's not natural. And if it's artificial, is it man-made? And when? By modern man? Last 100 years? 200 years? thousand years? Is it cum cumulative? Like people doing things uh, over um, hundreds of years and just moving to a new area and doing the same thing lifetime after lifetime? Um, possible, but I don't think so. Pretty sure Oh, looks like... Oh. Mm. Yep, large scale. S traditional city here doing whatever. Worked, worked over land and worked over in a very strange way. I'm kind of getting repetitive now, but I feel like you, you kind of really do have to scroll around a lot of areas to get a sense of the scale of it, because that is maybe the biggest giveaway. Um, kind of patchy. Patches of worked overness. And that's kind of this area. And then, of course, in Jordan, we have all kinds of other stuff. Um, let's see, vast area of patchy squiggle lines. Let's check that out. Yeah, these weird little squiggles or these patchy lines. Let's look in the historical photos to make sure it's not recent. So 2004. Yeah, same same deal. So these have been here a while. Uh, New Earth, uh, Sylvie Ivanova, her channel, she did a great coverage on this area. Uh, just tons and tons of stone circles. 
um, and in very gibberishy patterns, very nonsensical, whims whimsical, um, splotchy, blobby, little tessellations of just circle blobs. And um, so once again, I, I'm leaning towards the explanation that it's probably a deliberate mystery uh, and why someone would create a deliberate mystery um, is currently a mystery in itself. Looking at these lines, maybe edges of some kind of something. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, kind of large scale, really large scale lines here, like like really large scale, like this. Could be could be natural um, veins of whatever. I don't know, but uh, yeah, all kinds of weird stuff in this area. The, the odd patterns, the circle stones, or the stone circles. And in a seemingly incoherent arrangement, it's like it's like WTF was their was their goal. Like that's what they were going for. Like let's make some WTF patterns on purpose. I think. And these are basically stacked rocks for the most part, just FYI. So, I mean, who's, who's stacking all these rocks? I think it's like a... This is quite odd. I was thinking this might be a mining operation, but... I think it's just more of the weirdness. I, I think it's a combination of stacked rocks and worked worked over land is what we're seeing just tons of stone circles and miscellaneous lines and paths circle blobs all right that's this area and basically if you zoom in anywhere in jordan you'll see either the patchy pattern or some kind of weird pattern not not absolutely everywhere but many places, let's say. Like I'm not really seeing anything right here, just initially. Although maybe we could find some stuff if we looked closer, but probably at least one in ten random zooms in this general area will will get you some kind of weird pattern. Alright, let's look at different areas. So that was Jordan. Mali, also in Africa, and I've been showing a lot of Africa examples, but this pattern appears in a lot of places. So Mali, we've got these this patchy pattern here, just kind of worked over land, kind of what I would call scraped up or uh, raised over, raised across, cleared, sheared, whatever you, whatever you want to call it, um, processed. And let's go look. Took me a second to find it. My geography's a little hazy. Um, here's Mali. And I didn't spend a whole lot of time in Mali looking at stuff. But obviously these large scale streaks are pretty interesting. Could be sand flows or like the biblical flood or any number of floods or some kind of cata catastrophic event. Possibly even an artificial catastrophic event, but who knows? Uh, this is the area with the patchiness. So we've got the patches, pretty faint, uh, although you do see the lines and you see kind of a change in direction there, like as if something's driving and making these patterns, like a vehicle. Mm. 
rectangular patches. Possible stone circles, maybe not. And no, it's, uh, well, we can't really get a feel for the elevation. I'm guessing it's fairly flat, but uh, no real rhyme or reason to the, the orientation and patterning of these patches, looks like. And one thing I've thought of is it could be, um, a lot of these patterns could be like modern secret government uh, operations, like to test advanced devices or something. And that would actually go against my ancient terraforming project thing. Um, if it's just like the s secret government of today using their, their toys, their, you know, their trillion dollar budgets to test out various types of construction methods and weapons. So here we have uh, stone circles, I believe. Looks like a little town over here, maybe. I think. But, uh, but, yeah, more stone circles, not really doing anything useful. And, yep, a whole bunch of them. Yeah, we do see people here. Uh, so, is it these people, like, looking for stuff? Or another thing I thought of is training. Like if you're, I don't know, maybe for like advanced tractor school, you go out in the middle of nowhere and make a bunch of patterns and do a bunch of pass-throughs. Certainly possible. There's a lot of weird little explanations that aren't... Um, nice little angular nub there. That aren't super uh, otherworldly. They're pretty down-to-earth. And, uh, even so, I mean, we do see what look like probably tire tracks, people just driving through and whatnot, little, little town here. Um, I will say, I don't think it's anything conventional. Alright, so, we looked at it. And we should probably go somewhere else. Actually, I'm looking for uh, straight lines in these mountains because this is kind of near Mauritania, like where we see these straight lines over here. So I was kind of looking for that, seeing if I could find anything. Didn't really see anything jump out at me. But it is possible that this patchiness is from some kind of uh, terraforming with flare. And I, I'm doubting myself heavily as I say that, just because we, we do see these little uh, towns or um, little cities here. So, I don't know why they would need to do all this, but it's at least possible that they did. So, okay. Enough of that. Mali. Morocco, somewhat nearby. We have these kind of patches of land here. Um... For, uh, well, let's look at it in Google Earth. Okay. Sheared flat across. So, this is that area. And all these little patches here is what I'm referring to. These just kind of scrapey lines. Uh, 
pretty faint. Let's do a quick historical photo look. 2004. Looked the same in 2004, except let's look over here. What's going on? Actually, this almost looks new. Let's check that out. So, it's there in 2011. Is it there in 2004? Yes, but it looks slightly different. Hmm, interesting. Sorry, I'm struggling with the mouse right now. Uh, here it looks more defined. Slightly enigmatic. Could just be the photograph or the season or something. But it looks like it got more defined over time. Also, look, uh, let's look at another area, like right here. These patches, this patch right here. What's going on back in 2004? Looks like the same. And also, sometimes you'll drag to a, a previous year, but it'll just show you the same image. Or it, it appears to be the same image, so you can't always rely on the historical photos to be accurate. But yeah, these veins of patches is what I'm pointing out in Morocco here. And... Yeah, see, it's less defined in 2004, more defined in 2011. Could just be a contrast thing, or an image processing thing, or it could just be they, they continually re... Um, re-treat uh, the land, or I can't think of the word, but... And they keep going over it and doing multiple pass-throughs over the over the years for some kind of maintenance or I mean if maybe these are like veins of fertile sand. So they uh, so they take advantage of this this soil. And these are little farms or something. Uh, we see tire tracks. Yeah, we see tire tracks, looks like. This one might be a dud. I don't know. Mm. Let's take a quick look back in time. It's just you don't see any equipment or anything. See some parallel lines here. Parallel to the coast. 2016, you see it. 2011, you see it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so th see this line right here? That's new in 2011. Okay. So at least some of this is new. So here's where it gets a little weird and bear with me for a minute um so it's possible that these new patterns we're seeing are part of the ongoing aspect of this terraforming thing so so i mean we do see kind of fading patterns back in 2005 and those could be modern also, but and, the, and then in 2000 by 2011 this has popped up. Um, so yeah, we are seeing new patterns. Hmm. Once again, I'll, I'll I'll throw this out there the the just the possibility this slight possibility that there's a some kind of autopilot process which does this stuff on the fly or um, continually in a continuous fashion so it's on maybe the terraforming is ongoing 
with like spurts of discrete re resurfacing and stuff like that. Um, and then it's it's like they 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 do something and then they overwrite it in a slightly weird way and then they overwrite that in a, in a slightly weird way and they overwrite that in a similar but different way and um, if that is the case just a possibility I mean this could all be just conventional modern stuff that I'm not aware of but if it is the case that um, something's uh, doodling and uh, resurfacing and making weird patterns on a continual basis. Um, I think it's doing it for the purpose of uh, feeding us, like pulling the rug out from under us while feeding us new rug. So it's like a continual process that um, prevents us from getting our bearings. Uh, like a context hijack, if that makes sense. Um, Again, it's it's very 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 speculative, um, but like like a subtle ongoing change, like almost like the the Mandela effect. Like they just do subtle little changes, like very 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 subtle, to to whatever's on the table at the moment, and um, across multiple domains, the Earth's surface being one domain, and they. Uh, they make these changes so that it's our um, our trajectory across time is less traversable. Um, like we kind of see it in the restoration of uh, ancient sites. Like the restoration is the defacing of these sites in in some sense. Like uh, I'll, I'll talk a lot more about that in future episodes. Uh, I'm gonna do a huge section on Rome and Greece and. Uh, castles and stuff, um, but the, the ongoing restoration, even the modern restoration of, of these archaeological sites and artifacts is at least possibly um, a part of the ongoing shifting and uh, like pulling the rug out from under us while feeding us a, a garbled um, nonsensical new stretch of rug um, to walk on like our like a, a hijack of our understanding and our ability to verify I guess is a good way to put it like our ability to verify is being continually uh, taken away from us because everything changes in a subtle slow manner Again, that's just one possibility. Um, just one possibility, and it's... I'm not sold on it. I repeat myself a lot, so I'll s cut that thread. And these things... See, like, when I, when I go out on a limb like that, and then I, s I, s I see this... It's just modern, you know what I mean? Like it, it's pop, it pops up in like 2016. There is something before 2016. So are they doing this new pattern to cover up the old pattern? Maybe. I don't know. But I think I pretty much demonstrated the patchiness in this general area. What do we got? Lines, rectangles. Yeah, similar. Well, kind of similar deal. Lines, rectangles, real quick look at the history. Mm, looks like some of those lines might be new. Like, there are definitely lines back in 2003. But a, a new set of lines now. Um, which weren't there in 2003. So, see, that's why... Like, just real quick, I was tripping on this uh, Russian island, or this, it's kind of like, I don't know if it's technically Russia or Japan, but it's up here, one of these islands, and there's um, lots of strange divots and grooves. 
But then in the, the 360 photo, I was able to, I think it's this exact island, I was able to see tractors and stuff doing stuff, like modern work. So I was like, oh, this is all left by modern activity. But then what what is the modern activity doing? Like they're just kind of zigzagging around making circles and stuff. Um, let's see. And then I'm sure if you, like, I don't, I wouldn't say I think that the, the laborers driving the tractors and contracting the jobs and all that are in on it. So, so how does it work? Oh man, any number of possibilities. But this could be one example of the, a, a modern effort to make weird patterns. At first when I saw this I was like, oh yeah, it's obviously some weird old patterns, but then I saw the the the, the work, the workers and the vehicles in the, the 360 photo. So I was like, oh okay, well it's actually probably just industrial work of some kind. Faint lines here. Um, this place as well, long faint path. More kind of overgrown almost, maybe. But it could be a big cover-up operation. And there's some some conventional um, cover story so that the laborers think they're doing something uh, um, purposeful and conventional. That's but they're really just making new patterns and covering up old ones. I don't know, I think we're dealing with something that's ex like extremely clever and like like extremely clever. <laughs> More clever than me or you. Uh, or I'm just way out in Speculationville and it's nothing like that. I don't know. I really don't know sometimes. Uh, or all the time. <laughs> um, okay, let's go to a different patchy area. So we we're just looking at Morocco, Myanmar. This is one of those areas, slightly different uh, stylization of patchiness. It's more rounded here. But uh, this is one of those places I suspect the land is pre-zoned or pre-divided up into these little plots and again I'll quickly make the point that these um, little micro plots seem too gratuitous to be practical. Like there's too many of them. Do we really need them all? Uh, although I saw, I saw an interesting article recently about um, how uh, farmers will terrace um, like make pseudo terraces on flat land uh, as a way to uh, either um, irrigate or ventilate or something. Uh, some 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 benefit to making a bunch of uh, ditches and mounds, um, subdividing your land. So it, it could be that or some some landscaping strategy. Um, but let's go to Myanmar and check it out. Here's Myanmar, Burma. And patches are old, recent. Patchy pattern is recent, old. So this is that kind of look. And this, the scale of it is the sketchy thing to me. Here we see it kind of fading into the water, suggesting possible age. Uh, let's look at the older photos. Um, ugh, that's annoying. Can't see 2011, 2014. Yeah, we see a whole bunch of it underwater. That doesn't mean it's not recent from like the 1950s or something and then it got flooded. But I would, I would suggest that all these little micro subdivisions 
of land plots are unnecessary, maybe. And a decent sized population in Myanmar, I think. Uh, of course, uh, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, we, uh, we Laos probably as well, although I don't know if I've looked at it. Um, vast area of patchy pattern continues. What country is this? This is... Uh, I can't tell, whatever. But let's look at the vastness of it. And yeah. So I don't think this is stacked stone walls. I think this is like worked worked over land. Mm, maybe like mounds of dirt in these patterns. So we're in 2014, 2012, similar. And okay, so along the lines of that um, that theory that it, the the terraforming is ongoing, like right as we speak, um, along those lines, we have to wonder <laughs> whether Google Earth itself is even reliable. <laughs> like, are the are the historical photos of Google Earth shifting themselves? Are there slight edits happening to these? Uh, making it so that we can't verify anything. So, again, is there... I actually, for whatever reason, I don't think that's the case. I don't know why. Mm, mm, I don't know. Just my, my instinct says that for the most part, Google Earth is reliable. I, again, I, I can be totally wrong, but... Um, mm, and I mean reliable for the most part, not that there's not some editing to it. Uh, but just the vast patchiness. And zoom out here and remind you that I'm basically talking about like this whole area. Let's measure this. Talking about basically yeah, 2,500 miles by about a thousand miles or more of like patchy old or patchy subdivision, <clears throat> pre pre division of the land, pre dividing up. But yeah, that would suck if if uh, Google Earth itself is not reliable. Um, but just to wrap that point up, uh, it seems as though there may be some kind of um, uh, operation to make us unable to verify our past and therefore our context and our true nature, maybe. Uh, Like a, a war on our ability to verify. Um, achieved through continuous re resurfacing and re reconfiguration of the land and and lots of other stuff too. So here's the kind of subdivisions. Um, all right. I'm getting bored, so you're probably bored. <laughs> Cambodia. Basically the same thing. Possible. Pre-parceling. Pre-zoning. Maybe. Maybe not. And just last point I'll make here is... Uh, uh, 
I, I, I want to be sure I'm not underestimating the amount of uh, impact that human activity with a growing population can have over 2,000 plus years. So I just want to reiterate that, of course, it is possible that this is 100% modern um, uh, patchiness or modern activity creating the the patterns, and when I say modern, I mean between like the year zero and the year the year two thousand or now. Vast, vast patterns of plots. Could be all conventional human activity. All right, let's go to different stuff. Myanmar. Okay, and real quick, I just wanted to, on that pre-parceling point, I just wanted to show you the stone walls in Ireland. And I think um, Ireland is uh, may have that same type of thing going on. We've got these stone walls covering thousands and thousands of miles, millions of miles total probably, um, and you kind of see the scale of it, and I, I just, I don't think it's, once again, only on a hunch, so maybe not worth much, but I don't think these walls are 100% uh, innocent or created by the means we're told they're created by. And I wanted to show this image. I think this is the South Africa stone circle, just because some of the nuances here. So we've got the stacked stones formulating this pattern. See, it looks like it could be like a cymatic thing. It looks like it could have like an electrical purpose. It looks like it could be a, a corral for a, some kind of cattle or something, uh, some kind of path here uh, or... Um, uh, trail leading up to it with no door so it's it's like a mystery which intentionally straddles multiple possible explanations it could be where they stockpiled gold from the Anunnaki or whatever you know that theory um, I'm not saying that I'm just saying it, it could be perceived as that uh, it could be the footprint of a, a primitive building like house it, it could be many things, but mostly I wanted to, in this image, I wanted to show these thin lines of stacked rocks. Like this is creating what looks from above like Apache pattern. And uh, to me, it's fairly obvious that these configurations of stacked stones or uh, arranged stones are non-functional. Um, so it, it, once again, just more uh, more evidence to me that this is a at least partially a psyop <clears throat> on a on a pretty impressive scale. Uh, so yeah, I don't I don't think these do anything. They're not they're not for anything. They're not they're not resonance chambers. They're just rocks on the ground in patterns. <clears throat> uh, I think, I mean, I could be wrong. And this, this is, this is just one little spot and there's, I think, I don't think I'm wrong to say millions of these things. I think there's at least tens of thousands, but maybe millions of these stone circles. I mean, depending on how many you count for this, like these partial circles, this is one circle, five circles. Uh, but this is kind of a patchy pattern and, uh, it's arranged rocks is what uh, creates the pattern, and it could be, it. You know what? As I say that, it could be that the rocks are the edges of the rocks lie at the edges of scalloping maneuvers. So as something uh, worked over the land, it left these rocks on the edges of its maneuvers like a scoop out here or something like that. 
Uh, I, uh, it's possible. I don't know. I think it's more likely that this is a, a nonsense thing. Okay. Scotland just wanted to show this. Uh, I'll, I'll be showing this one in the parallel lines episode or expounding of this series, little mini series, but just kind of patches, patchy patches of parallel lines, which is kind of called uh, mach machair, M A C H A I R, if you want to look it up, which is considered to be like thousands of years of humans clearing the land and cutting down trees and stuff but I don't I don't buy that uh, let's take a very quick look because it's basically just a vast percentage of Scotland or a large percentage of Scotland and I remember where Scotland is by heart patchy let's go to patchy what do we got what do we got? We got patchy lines. All right. People there are doing their thing, obviously. But it's these underlying patterns that mark up the landscape, the whole landscape, like all of it here. Line there for no apparent reason. Here. Lines. Okay, so I think this is this is yeah, this is where that still image was. We've got lines in multiple orientations. Um let's look at a quick historical photo. See what we have to look at. 2004. Same deal. No changes, I think. Better, better contrast. Okay, and you see all these place marks. It's like that pattern is pretty much every, not everywhere, but very ubiquitous. Slightly different look here. Still pretty patchy, I would say. And remember, I'm talking about a, a, some type of protocol which likely uses a variety of methods and a variety of aesthetics. It has a, uh, a number of tools at its disposal, so it's not like everything that has a, a unified agenda behind it is going to look the same at the manifestation level. So we could have a unified agenda to make to accomplish XYZ goal, whatever that might, may be, but yet we see a whole bunch of different types of patterns which only share some similarities but have quite a bit of their own idiosyncrasies. These are some pretty stark wavy lines and kind of going into the water here, pretty interesting. Um, patches of goofy wavy lines. Pretty epic. And see, see, we don't see it so much on some parts, like the rocky mountainous parts. And if I get around to it, I intend to do a, a, a video of drone footage of this general area. Like, I, I went through and found a bunch of drone videos that show these patterns with, like, high resolution. So you can kind of get a better feel for it because it's just kind of washed out and it's just a satellite image but drone footage would be very useful in this case so if I get around to it I'll edit those and make a video out of it like a compilation of drone videos of the of this general area uh, enough I think enough Patchy wavy lines. Squigglies. 
And I, I always try and see if I can find where, where the squiggles, like, if they cut into the rock, because that indicates to me that it's not just like a dude with a tractor. You see what I mean? There's these parallel lines, but if you have a, a tractor doing your agriculture sh uh, stuff, um, how are you gonna cut into the rock like this? See, like in this in this area in particular, I feel like we're seeing like this almost looks like a path in rock. Well, maybe, but uh, like right here, maybe looking for subtle. Um, indentations in the rock, which indicate that, pos which potentially indicate that something's not just cutting the land, but cutting the rock as well. I like to try and find smoking guns like that. I can't say I've found a whole lot of them. They might be rare. I mean, we're kind of seeing a path there. This is a pretty rocky area, and it's not something you would want to like, you wouldn't want to put a farm right here, or a reinforcement wall, or anything really. But yet we see, we do see these little scrape marks. So then we look over here, and we gotta wonder what made it and why. frustrating not being able to verify the theories because there's, there's so many different things that, that, I, that could explain this or so so many motives behind it so many motivations let's look at this I'm looking at this kind of straight line here hmm okay well getting off topic from the patchiness. But uh, yeah, let's go back to some other examples. Peru, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take you on a tour of this area, but basically the same thing as Scotland we we're just looking at. Just a vast area of um these worked over kind of strange shapes of uh, squiggly parallel lines. I chose this photo, 2012 photo, just because the, the contrast is pretty good. Um, it shows the pattern pretty well. And it's, again, a, a very, very vast area. But this video is already pretty long. Um, patch, patches of worked, worked overness. England, Northern England is very patchy so like kind of like blotchy patches and my first thought was um, just logging like cutting down trees like it seems like a forested area wooded and uh, we've got the wavy lines which could be some kind of terracing although this doesn't look like an agriculturally active area uh, but these these are definitely artificial. We can just get this the shape of it. It's so it's not natural layers of rock, but uh, could be uh, I don't know, like the forest rangers doing some kind of route on a heavy duty um, vehicle of some kind. I don't know, but we see the the light patches, like light green, dark green. And, uh, the brown. I think we're almost done here. Uh, hang in there. So uh, let's let's go to England and take a quick look. And I know you don't trust me anymore because my looks are never quick. <laughs> they always take at least 10 or 20 minutes or an hour. But let's look at England quote real quick unquote. So here we are in England. Um, northern area of England and yeah this basically this whole patchy area uh, is patchy 
A vast area of patchy blotches. Kind of get a nice bird's eye view of it there. Maybe some pre-parceling, maybe not, probably not here. But uh, something just made a uh, bunch of patterns, it looks like. Some circular divots here. I've heard some people say that it looks like some areas were carpet bombed or hit with some kind of weapon. And it could be. One thing I've thought of is like what if what if like a bunch of structures were like buried in like the the mud flood concept that people talk about? Um and then uh what if these patches are like where they, they cut off the top of the building that was sticking up out of the ground? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, I kind of doubt that. This is new. Uh, looks like a fence, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, it just looks like a fence or some kind of ditch with regularly spaced planted trees. Probably a modern effort. I... Yeah, I mean, it could just be logging. To be honest, it just it's something that caught my eye, so I thought I'd mention it. Uh, it's just the ir the irregularity of it, and these subtle variations. Like this one doesn't have the border around it, but over here these ones do. They have like the little border around it, um, and of course we have the the lines around the whole area. Here's like a zigzaggy, um, fairly blatant almost, maybe. Like that's one of those things like I wonder if it's a deliberate clue, you know what I mean? Patch. Okay, a whole bunch of patches, linear gouges. Yeah. Um, I, I could do a whole episode on Northern England because there's so much oddness. I think I think I do have an example that I'll show in a later episode. So. Yeah, this whole area I'd like to take you through. Parallel lines, all of northern England, basically. So the, the idea is that, kind of similar to what we, we're seeing in Scotland, the, I can never pronounce it, Machair. Um, similar. Not, uh, actually, in some parts we do see waviness. So we do see those like wavy Machair lines, but also the straight lines and just slight variations on... Uh, implementation method. Uh, yeah, like just squiggle, squiggly oddness in sporadic patches. Start and stop. Patchy, 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 patchy. See, this is a patchy and blotchy area. Oh, and we also see a lot of stone circles in this area. So that's could be one of those calling cards, like um, leaving multiple calling cards side by side as a way to uh, link them, possibly. Then this is an interesting array of trees. Could probably modern, but um, just hopefully you're you're getting the feel for the the scale and the. The, ver the variety. Another circle here. Many paths and grooves. Just for no apparent reason. Like this. Parallel lines. 
big old stone circle. Kind of an arc here, like a like this hillside is like artificially chomped there. Mm. Yeah, I mean more stone circles. I was reading some articles like it's pretty common for f farmers to just not report. Uh, like they just have all kinds of uh, archaic sites, like rock circle or stone circles and stuff, and hinges and whatever you want to call them on their property, and they're just kind of so common that, like right here, just random zoom, that it's like no big deal for them. You know what I mean? Uh, so we we could call this patchy or at least sporadic patches of parallel lines and shit. Let's look at a real quick historical photo. Basically the same thing back in 2002. And once more I might add that this could all be modern uh, legs of the uh, tooling project. So these lines look pretty crisp so these could be modern uh, some of them look pretty crisp 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 and, and, and then you have like big big old paths like this like what is that? I don't know what that is I mean it could be I guess it could be a river or something but I don't know uh, stone circle. What I wanted to say... Uh, this Northern England pattern nation, uh, the, the lines and the patches and stuff, that might be modern work, but modern as a, um, a part of this terraforming project, this gibberishy terraforming project, if indeed it is outgoing, or ongoing, uh, in process, in vitro, continuing, continuous. And that is about enough of Northern England for now. Earthworks, lumpy ditches. Stoked. Lumpy ditches and earthworks, baby. Now we're talking. Hooray! Okay. We found it. We found some some lines and some circles. Alright, let's look at our last couple examples in the still images. So England, patchy, patchy, patchy. And once again, these, these lines, I don't know what these lines are. Could be walls or, or man, I don't know. I don't want to go into that too much. Whatever. Turkey, and this is our last example. So you're stoked, I'm stoked. Let's all go home um, or go out, whatever the case may be. Uh, Turkey, I basically, this is like basically my first time glancing at Turkey just because I haven't, I don't know, I haven't looked at it much. So I don't have a, a lot of place marks in Turkey, but uh, it's again the same deal. Just vast worked over areas, patchy areas. Got like one dude here and then all this. <laughs> um, although I might have been sneaky and uh, um, taking the screenshot so that the civilization's out of frame but um let's let's go right here and look so here is turkey obviously a very big country quite a bit to look at and then the areas right here you can s from pretty far away you can see the patchiness uh there it is look for people. Not a whole lot of people. 
Um, actually, here we go. Good little settlement. Okay. So little towns all, all along the river doing their thing. Um, maybe they, they live in a, a, a central area and then come out to their plots of land to do whatever work they do. And it could just be like the Zoom level, but I don't... Or the off season or something, but it kind of just looks like dirt. Like I'm not seeing a lot of plants if it's agriculture. And we, we do see what look like tire tracks or um, conventional vehicle tracks. So it's certainly possible that all of this is just modern... Uh, whatever you can see the loop-de-loops from where the vehicle changed direction but it, it is patchy <laughs> ooh some sheep or something um So, large scale, uh, I don't know if I can go out and say I think it's absolutely terraforming, although it might be. You can kind of see it digging into the hill of the, the foot of this hill here. And see, like, this little stuff bugs me. Like, I don't know. Like, this looks like what we saw in Jordan, almost. Or certainly a little bit like Peru and Bolivia. Mm. Kind of blotchy, patchy here. And, uh... Hmm, see this looks like some, yeah, some kind of something was going around. See the, the edges of the either maneuver or just a simple modern plot. But it could be like a tool maneuver that... Or even this feature here as well. And here we see circular kind of stuff. Yeah, getting a, a little weirder and more irregular here. See? Like, mm, it's pretty weird. It's kind of arbitrary zonings. Possible stone circles there. And then, of course, people right here. So these could be form, former plots of earth. Yeah, former used land. Still pretty weird looking, in my opinion. Definitely artificial. Maybe modern though, I don't know. Is there anything else I wanted to point out in Turkey? Sorry. Just some old grid. Mm, slightly interesting pattern on this shoreline. Likely modern. Let's briefly take a look back in time. Yeah, it looks like it's a modern pattern. All right, I think we be done with this episode. Yeah, thanks for watching, and leave any thoughts in the comments if you want. Um, yeah, next, next episode, uh, I can't remember what the next one is, but... That'll be out soon, so check it out, and I'll talk to you later.